guys, how's it going? Now, the other day on my Instagram, I asked you all what is the makeup look or what should be my next video that you all really, really want to see. And a lot of you asked me to do my inner tear ducts definition tutorial. Now, although this is something I've done in several videos of mine because this is pr my signature look, I always do this inner tear ducts definition. It's something I'm obsessed with. I can never not do it. So without rambling away, if you'd like to see how I achieve this perfect inner tear duct, well, it's not perfect, but as perfect as it can be in a tear duct look, then please keep watching. All right, guys, so let's get started. So the product that I'm using to achieve my inner tear duct is uh, an eyeliner pen. This one is um, Artist of Makeup Eyeliner Pen. What I really like about this is that this is super pigmented and because the tip is so fine, it helps me achieve that precision for my tear duct points. So let's get started. Oh, and before we get started, another thing that I want to say is that now not everyone's eyes are set perfectly apart from each other. I'm talking about the spacing between the eyes. Like my eyes, for example, my left eye is a little bit closer to the bridge of my nose as compared to my right eye. And because of that, if you notice, let me just zoom in. So if you notice, there's a skin, there's a bit of a skin crease over here. Whereas over here, because it's slightly more away from my nose, I don't have that skin fold, which makes my eyeliner application on this eye a lot easier than this one. But you know, that's just the way it is. Not an awful lot that I can do about that one, but I'm okay to live with it. <laughs> I'm actually not wearing any eyeliner. I'm just wearing false eyelashes. Now, the good thing about false eyelashes is that it does pretty much 80% of the job for you. And these are Cleopatra by Glossy Makeup. It comes uh, as a twin pack like this with two separate lashes so first I'm gonna start off by filling in this space over here you see nice thin line now before I go on to do the inner tear duct I'm gonna do the same on my left eye personally if you ask me I find it easier to work on both my eyes pretty much at the same time. So I do a little bit on this eye and I do a little bit on the other eye as opposed to finishing an entire eye and then moving on to the next. It just helps me achieve a little bit more balance and cohesiveness, if you, if you will. Okay, so now that I've filled in the gaps, I'm gonna move on to do the actual points. To define the inner tear ducts, try not to go too horizontal. It needs to be diagonal with a little bit of a curve, if that makes sense. Um, I'll show you what I'm doing. This doesn't need explanation, you can just watch and learn. You see that? It's nice and subtle. Now you can make this as thick or thin as you like. It's really up to you how dramatic you want this part to be. But obviously it has to be cohesive with the rest of your eyeliner. Now I'm gonna move on and do my left eyeliner. This is very tricky to make sure that both the points are sort of bending towards the same direction. This eye is always a little bit more tricky for me because I'd mentioned earlier, I have this skin fold, which always comes in the way of me getting that perfect um, point. Okay, so that's about the best I could manage. <laughs> They're probably not perfect, but I'm gonna go with this. Now, both your eyeliners do not need to look like a mirror image of the other because you know everyone's eyes are shaped differently not everyone's eyes are sized perfectly or spaced out perfectly so it can be very tricky although with makeup you can adjust a lot of the a lot of nature's flaws but um, you know some things just have to be left the way they are so while we're at it i'm also going to do a, a little bit of an outer flick And that completes the look. It's not super easy, I understand that, especially if you don't have a steady hand, you might struggle with this a little bit. This is something that I do every day, but despite that, I get it wrong 
all the time. Um, sometimes I don't see it in the mirror, but when I take pictures of myself, that's when I'm like, oh my goodness, one is pointing this way, the other is pointing that way. But you know, that's just the way it is. I hope you will practice this at home and do feel free to send me pictures of this once you've tried it on yourself. Send it to me on my Instagram. It is at ashwarya.ajit. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Bye.